Hey, my name is Vance Juan, and I'm here to show you the electricity part of doing your DIY trailer. Um, this particular trailer is gonna have six lights, so I wanna show you the basic setup of doing your light fixtures, okay? Pay attention, because it's pretty simple, and I'm sure there's a better way to do it. I'm not an electrician, I'm not a plumber, I'm not a carpenter. The reason I repeat that, because of the fact that I am not licensed to do it, but it's my trailer, so you, you, you're free to do whatever you want with your trailer, right? So I'm gonna show you a few things, few items that you, I purchased that you can actually go to either Amazon or you can go to Lowe's and you can actually um, get these items and you can do it yourself. Um, first, I wanna start with the switch. This is a dimmer switch. I got this from Lowe's. It actually is a uh, three-way um, light switch or a single pole light switch. Three-way, all that means is that you can operate the uh, light from one side of the hallway to the other side. So if you on one side, you can turn the switch on, turn the light on, and the other side, it just means you can turn the light off and on, pretty much. You know what I'm trying to say. So, but we're not gonna do that with the trailer. We're just gonna do the single pole one. So this little bronze screw right here, this is gonna be your power. This right here is gonna be for your uh, other power for to go into the light. So just just remember that. Don't I'm gonna come back to it, but just remember that. So power and power, okay? This is the actual light box to the light hookup. This is what's gonna go into your light, right? And once you hook this up to your wiring, all you have to simply do is take this and twist it together, which powers your light. I actually like this light because of the simple fact that it's ultra thin and it's great to put inside your trailer because the trailer frame is only about an inch thick. So I definitely recommend to get this ultra thin uh, LED uh, dimmable light. Um, it's made by, let me see what company. I don't have the box in me, it's in the house, but check this out. This is a good, oh, sunlight lighting, there you go. Check that out. It's a good product, I got about six of them that's gonna go inside this trailer. So, and the wiring, the wires, this, you're gonna need plenty of this. So if you go to Lowe's, get you 150, 250, however uh, footage you come in, but get the max footage if you can, uh, maybe 250 feet should be plenty enough, but you can't have too much wiring, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of outlets or a lot of lights, depending on what you're doing. And it's a 14-2, 14 14-2, 14 it's a great wire. 14.2 is, um, and again, this is the uh, power wire, ground wire, and a neutral wire. So I already pre-stripped these. I'm gonna show you how I strip them. That way you can see how to strip these. That way you can properly wire your, uh, your, your products and your stuff right, okay? Um, and these are lug nuts. You're gonna actually need these uh, wire nuts. I'm sorry, wire nuts. You're gonna need these wire nuts. The wire nuts is gonna help you kind of lock these um, wires together. That way they just not out and you're taking a risk of hitting metal and electrocuting something or electrocuting yourself or setting something on fire. So wire nuts, get all different sizes if you can. As long as it's not the very, very, very small ones because you're gonna use these um, solid wire. They don't have the, string, the stringy uh, thing on it. So look. This is simple, it's easy, this is the basics, so just follow me, okay? So first, right? So first, you, your, your, your longest wire is gonna be from the actual, gonna go from your breaker box, right? All the way to the switch, okay? So wherever you decide to wire or put your switch, that's where you want to, how long you want your cord to be. So I run my wires along the side of this, right? That's how I mount them and I use zip ties and I use zip ties to actually zip tie the uh, wire to the frame of the trailer. That way they're not just dangling and they get caught on something and it gets snatched out. So uh, make sure you zip tie your wires along the trailer on the frame, okay? or whatever 
hanging mechanism that you might find or you might know something even better. Like I say, I'm not an electrician, I just use the basic stuff. So if I can do it, you can do it. So let me show you how to first start by stripping your wire, right? So, so like I say, this is a 14-2, right? So you only need um, the ground wire, the power wire, and the neutral wire, right? So this is an actual uh, gauge thing that kind of helps cut, a wire cutter that actually helps cut. It's made to, if you can see, it's a 14-2. It actually cuts the actual grooves out for you. That way you can pull it off. Or if you don't have that, right? You can also use a razor. It's a lot harder to use this box razor, but you could do it with this if you don't find that actual tool. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it with both so you can see how I do it, right? So here. Alright. So right. Come around here, so you can see it says 14-2. So you're gonna put the actual wire right on that groove in between that, right? And then you're gonna clamp down. Alright, try not to go all the way through and try not to hit that wire because you don't want that wire exposed and then you don't have it covered properly, it will uh, detect anything that it will um create some type of something. I don't know what it creates, but I ain't trying to get that far, so I'm just being careful. Alright, so now you got your wires exposed, right? So now I'm gonna take off about an inch of plastic off of the white wire, which is a neutral wire, white is neutral, right? So you easily just slide it off. Boom, right? Then the black wire, same thing. To the right of the groove, so it actually has the, just for that, at the bottom 14, it actually do a single uh, stripping on this. Boom, so that's that, right? So you got the white, your ground, and your power wire. Your neutral, ground, and power. Boom, you're gonna probably have to strip this. Down the side and split it, which you can, so you can have enough room to wiggle room because it's kind of, it's kind of stiff, right? So take this, take your razor, be careful. I'm, I'm, I'm accident prone, so don't mind me. Uh, come down the middle. What you want to do is stay close to this middle ground wire because you can't really strip it because it's already bare. So stay close to that. That way you're not cutting into the actual other power wire or the neutral wire. You just give yourself about three or four inches of that wiggle room, right? Just like, kind of like that, right? And you can kind of, I will peel back some of this extra here if you can, but we ain't gonna worry about that right now. But you can take this gray sleeve off so that way you have more freedom to kind of move that wire around, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the way with the razor if you don't find have that tool. Same thing, take that, get closest to that ground wire as you can, come down. Be careful, please be careful because uh, you can't cut yourself easily if you got a good fresh razor, all right? Boom. And all you gotta do is kind of pull it apart slightly. Just enough. Won't hurt nothing. And then from there, you kind of take your time and kind of cut away the gray, right? It's the gray until you start seeing the uh, other color of the wire. So just take your time. A little bit of time. And this is why I say it was a lot easier to have that other tool than to try to cut this uh, part. That way you don't have, you know, oopsies and accidentally cut through the other wire and then you got to start all over because uh, you don't want to have uh, any wire exposed. Um, that don't have to be exposed because it's done touching anything. It will um, cause a switch or a fire. I don't know. Like I say, I don't take any chances. So, but I have to start over. I have to start over. So, okay, there you go. So that's how you do it with the razor. And you just kind of pull it away. Kind of easily pull it away. All right. There you go. And get you about an inch of bare wire. If you light switch, your wire is going to, it's going to be a lot longer than this probably. It's going to probably be 10 to 15 feet long, just depending on where you decide to put your breaker box at. You're going to run this along the side of your trailer. Uh, maybe high up, maybe low, just depending on where you decide to put it. You just want it out the way just in case you do any actual uh, drilling later or something like that. You don't want to accidentally drill through this and expose that wire. Um, so switch your black wire is going to go to this bronze copper looking color, right? This is what's going to go to this because this is actually going to be running to your breaker box, right? It's gonna run all the way to your breaker box. So however you do it, whether it's 10 feet, whether it's two feet, run this all the way down to your breaker box. So what you do is, you know, with this tool, that's another cool thing about this tool. You're going to take this black wire and you're going to bend it, make a loop, right? You wanna make a loop. And if you make a loop, you're gonna loop this around that 
copper uh, screw you can get it. And like I say, I'm not an electrician. This is just something I learned how to do from YouTube. YouTube can be your best friend or your worst enemy, All right? So look, boom, almost had it. There you go, found, right? Hold it, you got your little loop in there. Pull it tight. And twist it on. Twist it all the way tight down. Boom. This neutral wire here, you don't need that neutral wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put a, a, a wire nut on it. Actually, I'm gonna cut it. If it's too long, you can just cut it. Because uh, like I said, you don't want too much of that wire exposed. All right? So I'm gonna put a wire nut on it just because I don't want that wire touching anything. A wire nut helps you prevent from doing anything or touching anything that don't needs to be touched. Okay? Cool. Now, this is what this is this is the part you need to pay close attention to. Right? So this wire here is the wire that's gonna run to your actual light box, okay? So however long that is, or however you, wherever you set your light at, this is going to run. The only reason this is this short because I'm just showing a demonstration. So, but this is wire is gonna run all the way to your light. And it's gonna come from the first light, the very first light, to the light switch, right? So, neutral wire you don't need. Wire nut, twist that on. Now, from here to here, both of these are power wires, right? So you want don't worry about the top uh, top uh, gold um, screw, the other black wire. Put a little loop in it. Pretty cool tool. You can actually use um, you actually use the pliers, or you can use the edge of this, and you just loop. You just want to make a nice little loop, right? Let's see if I can get this without struggling. Boom, ha! Right? So, boom. Take that, tighten it up. Tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. Real tight. So remember, this uh, copper screw is the screw, is the wire that's going to your, your breaker box. This actually is gonna start the chain link of your lights, okay? Your ground wires, you wanna make sure you loop those together. So the ground wire that we left out and the ground wire on this, we left out. No, on this end, I'm sorry. The ground wire there and the ground wire there. We're gonna link those three together. You can put those three together and all you simply do, and you wanna make sure you have enough, you know, exposed wire or enough wire loose that way you can kind of bend and, 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 and get the shape that you want to you so you because you want to have to push all these wires inside of the box have you ever seen open up a light switch or a outlet and you see a bunch of wires jammed in there yes so you're going to have to make sure you have not too much and not too little so i know that's hard i know that's kind of like oh uh, how do i know how do i know just you know kind of measure get your light box or your switch box or your outlet box and you actually kind of see how long it is, how tall it is, and you want to make sure you kind of have enough room to push those wires in and have enough wire to kind of link them all together. So all your green wires and your copper wires are going to be looped together. Right, and you give it all a nice little twist until you probably can't twist it anymore. And then it just means it's just locking in place and that way you, you give it a little tug and make sure they don't slide out. Boom. So do you see how that look? So ground, ground, and then ground. Neutral are all by itself because you don't need a neutral wire for these. And your power black and black. Make sure that you use the screw that's across from each other 
for your power and make sure you use black and remember black is power, okay? So, copper screw goes to the actual breaker box. The other side, gold screw, once you hook your power up, is going to start the chain link of your lights. So, light box, same color, same color wiring, green, black, and white, okay? The side of this has the actual knockouts for your, um, to run your wires through, right? So simply, the, the reason it's slit right here because you simply stick a screwdriver in there, right? And it kind of pops out and then you, if you go inside, you give it a nice little wiggle and it pop, comes right out. Same thing with the other side. Be careful because this um, box is kind of thin so you don't want to bring your box out too, bring your box up too much. Pop it out, wiggle it. Boom, All right? Again, I'm just showing you the kind of the, the uh, how it's laid out. So, gold screw starts the starts the uh, chain link for your lights. Take this, the other side, and you stick it in there in that hole, All right? Hopefully, you can see. So you got your actual. The actual wires to the box, right? Push those off to the side. And then you got your wire that's from your from the inside of this box to your light switch, which is the on the side of the gold gold screw. All colors go together. Just remember that. All colors go together. White goes with white, black goes with black, and it's always bare wire, is always your ground wire. Okay? So before you put your you twist your wires together with your uh, wire nuts you have to do the next box too also right so twist outs twist those out or knockouts they like to call them some people do i just call it twist out or knockout depending on how i feel right and they pop right out they should pop right out and just give it a little wiggle, 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 boom. All right, I repeat myself because some people may not catch on right away. You know, those there's always that one person, huh? Huh? What, what do you say? So, don't mind if I repeat myself, please don't mind me. I just for those who don't really understand, okay? Again, I'm gonna strip that, give myself about an inch. Again, boom. If you cut, or make it too long, don't worry. Just go ahead and kind of cut some of it off with your wire cutters. All right, so before you, you go ahead and strip this down a little bit because I'm gonna need a little bit more wire to kind of flex and get it up in that box, okay? so. Boom. So, again, move some stuff out the way so it's not confusing. Okay. Wire comes from the actual light switch, comes into the box. This wire here is gonna go from the other end of the box, right? inside of here. I tell you what, my back is killing me sitting like this. It's all right, no. <laughs> All work's paid off. Okay. All right, remember, all your white wires together, your black wires together, and your grounds together. So you're gonna have three wires are connected in this one box. So, two wires, white, white, and white. I got three white wires. Lug nut, 
or a wire nut, I should say. I keep saying lug nut. Wire nut, twist, 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 twist. Get it all in there. Black. Black wire. Black, black, and black. Black, 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 black on black. That's on black. All the black ones. Wire nut. Keep twisting, keep twisting, keep twisting. Give it a nice little tug. You want to make sure that wire is in there nice and secure. In this case, any you know trailer moves, vibration, anything, you don't want that coming out of there. Ground wires. And this could be a lot cleaner and a lot smoother, but I think this would be pretty uh, good because about the fact that the um, wire is so stiff that I don't think it's gonna move around too much once I get it in there. I'm just taking a little bit off because I want that, that wire a little longer than what it shows or where it comes, I should say. It is green, bare wires, copper wires. Put those all together. I like to put the thinnest one in the middle. That way they can twist around the thick ones. I don't know if it Helps or not, but that's just what I do. Twist, twist, twist. Boom. Then you give that nice little push inside the box. You, you know, it's gonna be a little tight, but that's okay. You just wanna make sure it's in there. And you wanna close that up. Your chain starts here. No matter if you have two lights, or 13 lights. They all can run on the same continuous line. One box, second box. White go with white, black go with black. I'm gonna just I'm gonna show you from the other side. So this other wire, same thing, and you're gonna continually connect the boxes until you get all your lights ran through. And then when you get to your last one, you wouldn't have to knock out this hole here because you will stop there and then your last wire, your last box will only have two wires inside that's sort of twisted together. Two wires connections that are twisted together. One coming in, come to the light, one coming out. One coming in, one coming out. And all these are Want to be connected together. Like I say, whether you have one light, two lights, or 13 lights, they all want to run together. And that's how you will wire your, um, your lights together. So this is the actual connection, okay? Let me see if I can show you better. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way so you're not confused. This is for First timers, like I said, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a plumber, or I'm not a carpenter. This is just something I learned on YouTube. And like I said, YouTube be your best friend or your worst enemy. So I use it to my advantage. Okay. Let me see if I need a hard right, one. Okay. You got your light switch here, right? This actual wire, this is the wire that's gonna run all the way to your panel box or your uh, breaker box, okay? You want all the way to your breaker box. However long this cord needs to be, this is gonna be the your longest pie cord uh, by itself. So run this all the way to your breaker box, whether you run it closer to the ground, whether you run it in the ceiling, whether you run it behind the studs. Make sure that you uh, run this, this cord goes all the way to the uh, breaker box. From the breaker box, black power wire, is going to go to this copper wire, white wire you don't need. So you're going to put a wire nut on that. Now the other power wire is going to be on your gold, okay? Your gold screw. Loop that through. The wire is going to run all the way down through this box, right? Open this up for you. 
all the colors are together. White with white, black with black, and ground with ground. And it's gonna be three connections because you're gonna have another wire which starts your chain connection, which is gonna to go to that. And it's gonna run power all through your boxes, whether you have two boxes or 19 boxes. Doesn't matter how many boxes you got because this wire, as long as they're, uh, I think this is a 15 amp wire, I believe. Yeah, 15 amp wire. Look, always get a second opinion. Always find an electrician, ask questions. But this is how I wired the trailer that you guys seen on uh, social media and it works. And like I say, I watched YouTube, I watched several videos and they showed me how to do this. Run together, same thing, all the wires together. And if you have, only have two lights, then if you, uh, if you only have, yeah, only had two lights that was in the trailer, then this um, box, the last box will only have, um, two wires connected, the one that actually is for the light and the wire that's going through. But this has three because I'm going to continue to run to the next box. And it's going to, once you do that and it's wired correctly, all you would simply do with this nice little light is you're going to connect those little connectors. All right, push that in, take the little twist and twist it on. And I like these little things because these actually, when you put them in the ceiling, you're gonna flip these up when you make your uh, hole in the ceiling. And it does is clamp down on the wall and makes a nice little tight fit. So check these lights out.